everyone, my name is Oshina. Welcome to this video. I am going to be sharing some Christmas book recommendations. I have a video from last year that I filmed, so I will link it down below, and I'm not going to repeat any of those books. So if you want to see a whole new list, you can go watch that video. Um, some of the books I talk about are ones that I talk about all the time, so you'll probably recognize some of them. Um, but I'm going to do all new books, and it's kind of funny, like, I don't have a ton of new recommendations because I've read a lot of duds and it just happens, you know? And I'm still reading through um, my TBR and so hopefully next year I'll have even more recommendations because I'm reading a lot of Christmas books this year. Really excited. If you haven't seen my TBR, um, I did a Christmas book TBR, so I'll link that down below too. So on to the recommendations. So my number one, this is was my favorite Christmas book from last year. It's The White Christmas Inn by Colleen Wright. It just blew me away because it was so Christmassy and so wholesome and sweet. So I just, I just loved it. Um, this is also my TBR because I want to read it again actually for this year. But this follows kind of like a snowstorm situation and this inn that is struggling so they think they, they need to close their doors and um, this is going to be their last Christmas. But the snowstorm brings a whole bunch of people to their inn and then all of a sudden business is going great. So they're like, wow, well maybe we'll break even when we sell. Um, and anyways, you end up following all of the people that come to the inn and you follow kind of each of their stories and it's just so sweet and I just remember loving it. I'm hoping that it holds up and that when I read it again, I'll love it just as much because then it'll be like, you know, a new all-time favorite Christmas book. Yeah, I was very impressed. Totally clean. Um, there weren't any faith elements that I remember, but yeah, it was clean and so sweet. So. Um, I definitely recommend that one. Okay, I also read this book last year, Snowfall on Haven Point by Rayanne, Ray, Rayanne Thane. Um, so this author does the thing where like she has a big family and writes a book for each love story. So this book I think is either book five or I think it's five, maybe four, four or five. Um, and I had no idea. I just read it and I was fine. Like um, you do follow this family, but just like one brother in the family and it was it was fine I didn't miss anything um, so this is a clean romance it, it does follow so this you know this guy he gets hit by a car um, he's I think he's either the sheriff or he's a police officer and he gets hit by a car so he is bedridden and his sister's friend says that she'll help like take care of him because the sister isn't available so it's like you know the brother and the friend and it's a romance the friend has two children um she has kind of like a a dark history um you learn a little bit about her ex-husband and that whole dynamic um it wasn't too detailed but it gave the story like a little more depth than just like a light-hearted you know fun christmas book it is set all around christmas but it's definitely more romance than christmas if that makes sense but I, I really enjoyed the writing. I was very impressed. It was so captivating and just really well done in my opinion. Um, totally clean. Just like there was like a bit of sexual tension that was described that made me like a little uncomfortable and I wasn't prepared for it. I think if I did prepare for it, I would be, like be able to detach better. But because I just was like taken off guard, it was kind of jarring. But still, I, I really liked it. I want to read another one of her books this season and just see how it goes but yeah it was it was good I definitely good I don't remember if there's any swearing I think it was clean in that regard too so yeah I would recommend it if that sounds interesting to you then I have two historical Christmas books to recommend first is an Ivy Hill Christmas by Julie Klassen this is like a little novella kind of I think it came out last year and it kind of goes with her Ivy Hill series that she has going on I haven't read any of those books but I didn't feel like I was missing something um, and this book was good it's like just a slow sweet Christmas book like not a lot exciting things going on but just like this you know family is throwing parties and it's Christmas time and um, but it does kind of have a Pride and Prejudice kind of spin to it um, the guy is kind of like Mr. Darcy and then the girl is kind of like Lizzie although the girl is way sweeter she's like very sweet and just very kind and it's kind of one of those things where it's like, why would she like him? Because he's so grumpy. But, you know, it all comes together. It's one of those stories. And, yeah, I mean, not a lot of plot to this one. So it's really just, you know, these rich people throwing parties and 
um, the two characters crossing paths and liking each other in the end. Um, so yeah, it was, you know, super lighthearted and sweet. Um, if that sounds good to you, I thought it was pretty good. Then the other one is actually a bind up of four stories, which is really nice. So it's called The Christmas Heirloom. And I read this um, in October or no, this one? I don't know. Read it this year anyways. And it has four authors in it. So that was really nice. I kind of got a sampling, um, although Becky Wade is one of the authors. So I already knew I loved her and I did really like her um, story in it. So this kind of each story progresses in time. So the first story is set like really late, like well, I don't know, 1800s, I guess. Um, and then they slowly get closer. And then Becky Wade's is basically set in present day. So yeah, that was kind of a cool touch. And I really enjoyed the stories. They were, you know, wholesome, sweet, clean, um, really liked them. The first story I was really impressed by, by Christy Ann Hunter. Definitely want to read more of her books now because I just really liked the writing and the characters. And yeah, it was nice to have four stories to read in one. So I would definitely recommend that one. Okay, then I recently read this one. It's Christmas Angels by Nancy Nagel. And this one, so I would recommend it. It wasn't my favorite thing ever, but it was like really clean. And like the, the guy character was so great. Like he was just an excellent person to read from. He treated her so well and I just really liked it. So it follows the story of um, this girl, well, both of them, the, the guy and the girl are bidding on a, an old inn. And the girl wants it because it was her grandparents in and the guy wants it just because he really um, loves that land and he loves the, like the history around it so he wants to preserve it too um, and he didn't know that she bid on it but then she won she outbid him so she gets to town and he realizes that th that it's her because they actually grew up together but she was like so busy and like had people around her all the time she doesn't actually remember him but he remembers her and he always kind of liked her so anyways he agrees to like completely help her rebuild this in um, he takes on a lot and just for her basically and you just follow them like doing construction on the inn. kind of a bunch of things happen to the girl that make her question if she should even do it if she should just resell it and um, move away because she had to move to the town to, to stay there and their friendship grows it was really sweet. The dialogue was funny to read because it was so, I don't know, it felt like, it felt really awkward, but like in a cute way, I guess. It was really funny. Um, yeah, they, they definitely interact a lot and their relationship is funny to read about. So I did enjoy it. And overall, I wasn't wowed, but the guy character really sold it for me. Like I liked him a lot and it was just you know sweet so so those are all of the recommendations I have been trying to read as many as I can so that I can give good recommendations but sometimes it's hard to find good Christmas books and I want to read clean ones so that has been you know the struggle but I do have a whole TBR that I'm excited about I will share it I'll link, link it down below and I would love to hear what you guys are reading for Christmas and you know any clean recommendations that you have um, I'm okay with like closed door stuff so if if there is the stuff in it but it, you don't get it described I'm okay with that so um, just so you know if that changes any recommendations you give but yeah thank you for watching this I hope you got something out of it and I will see you in the next one bye